Should we control our feelings? Let's explore the delicate dance between emotions and self-control. We all experience a range of emotions that can bring us to the heights of joy or plunge us into the depths of sorrow. As Christian women, we are called to embrace the full spectrum of our feelings, acknowledging that our Creator designed us with a beautifully intricate range of emotions. However, the question remains, should we have control over these emotions? The Bible teaches us about the importance of self-control. In Galatians 5, 23 the fruits of the Spirit include love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. While self-control is listed among these virtues, it's essential to understand that it doesn't mean suppressing our emotions. Rather, self-control in the Christian context is about managing our reactions and responses in a way that aligns with our faith. It's about allowing the Holy Spirit to guide us through the storms of emotion, helping us navigate with grace and wisdom. In the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus himself experienced a wide range of emotions. He wept at the death of Lazarus, felt compassion for the crowds, experienced deep anguish in the Garden of Gethsemane, and even anger at the temple. His emotions were authentic and genuine, yet perfectly aligned with the will of the Father. As Christian women, we can draw inspiration from Jesus' example. Instead of suppressing our emotions, we can bring them to God in prayer. Not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4-6-7 by surrendering our emotions to God, we allow Him to work within us, molding our hearts and minds to reflect His love and grace. This doesn't mean we won't experience challenging emotions, but it offers a perspective shift. Rather than controlling our feelings, we invite God to be in control, trusting that His wisdom surpasses our understanding. It's crucial to approach our emotions with compassion. Just as God extends grace and compassion to us, we should do the same for ourselves and others. Let's embrace the richness of our emotions while entrusting them to the loving hands of our Heavenly Father. Through prayer, self-reflection, and reliance on the Holy Spirit, we can navigate the waves with a spirit of grace and love. In doing so, we honor the design of our Creator and find peace in the midst of life's unpredictable currents. Remember, it's about self-control, not suppression. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to subscribe so you can be notified of future videos. Also, please share this video so we can spread the word together. God bless you.